I'm now located at the upper right-hand boundary of this site. As you can see from where I'm standing, this field was, is in, currently in stubble, uh, residue from the previous small grain or wheat crop that was grown here. You need to take that into consideration when evaluating the potential of this site for surface runoff. Later, we'll, I'll, give, I'll shoot and determine the slope for this site. So I'm going to walk, similar, similar to what I did for the other locations, I'm going to walk from the upper right-hand corner to the upper left-hand corner of the site to show you the dimensions of this particular location and what the overall site looks like. Um, this slope in, in terms of the area that we're considering here is approximately 80, 80 meters in length. So the total length of this slope is 80 meters and it's currently in um, small grain or wheat stubble. We've now arrived at the lower, or excuse me, the upper left-hand boundary of this location. You can see that the entire area here under consideration is in a, is it currently in wheat stubble, uh, which will be put into uh, pea ground next year in the spring. I'll now walk to the lower left-hand corner of the site. Okay, and, and traveling down here to the lower left-hand corner of the site, of course, we've crossed across the pit site again. So you kind of get an overall viewpoint of uh, what this site looks like. I'll now travel back to the base of this site and determine the slope. We'll be shooting slope from the base of the site up to where I uh, st first started standing beside the uh, white stake. As we did at the previous locations, we'll be determining slope with the abney level. I'm going to place this abney level on top of this stake and be shooting to the top of the stake at the upper portion of this site. I'm going to be turning my scale counterclockwise. Until the bubble comes into the window. I'm going to line up the bubble with the line in the sight window. And then read my percent of slope scale. The percent of slope at this location is 25%. So we utilize that slope at 25% to determine capability class for land as well as what the runoff potential is at this site. So we've got a 25% slope. I know I realize that's right on the border in terms of runoff categories. Uh, you should take into consideration permeability of the soil as well as present surface condition when determining surface runoff potential at this site.